Okay, so my dad is getting out of prison after 17 years, and uh, today's the day. Heaven help me! Ready to be on prison? Yes, sir. Oh, hallelujah! And I assume he'll be living with you. Oh, oh no, no, that's absolutely no good. not. Stage, you dating black man yet? Oh God! When I get to meet my grandson, your mama said I could take you to ice cream. You know, so we can bond. I might have a proposition for you. You have a driver's license. People are looking. I'm a little nod. No, ma'am, not up, up. Yeah, all right. <laughs> you kid this. Baby, I'm a classic. Say whoa. Oh, damn, baby girl. This is really nice. Right? I'm actually going to have my own room. You can stay with us for as long as you need, but the same rules still apply, no, right? Don't get in your business. And don't put the knife back in the jelly after I done licked it. Are you doing that? No, that was a joke, baby. No. Do you want no. your own no. shelf in the... Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> Can I get an A? different this time. This whole thing is different. You have to let him be someone who's never been before. I don't know what to do. Let's start with more wine, obviously. So, how'd you two meet? Through my dad. Oh, that's so sweet. Who just got out of prison. Oh. Wow. He was a drug dealer. Wow. Oh, wait, drug dealers? What show is this? Yo, who you think you said, I got one daughter. So you got one daddy. Life is messy. It's not about what you owe someone else. It's about who you want to be. Now, you know it don't make no difference if the female's in love, the man don't love her back. You giving me relationship advice because I am the marriage and family therapist. Yeah. Licensed and everything. If I can prevent. I win! Oh, God damn. You're okay. 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 Heaven help me! If love ain't dead, I'm a killer because it's killing me. Whoa. I was always there for you. Yeah. If by always, you mean this call is from a federal prison. You will not be charged for this call. <laughs> now you nailed it. <laughs> you are lucky I didn't press seven. You're watching Black Tree on TV. Um, Carrie, excuse me, because I know it's like always women's first, and I, I love you in so many things, but Delroy is like my on my Mount Rushmore oh, of actors amen. and... I mean, uh, we could talk about West Indian Archie. Yes. We could talk about Rodney. Yes. Paul. We could talk about, oh, we could talk yes. about Mr. Lucas. Thank um, you very much, man. You know, you know, you've been in, you've been like one of my favorite characters, and I feel like you know you, you guys both you know deserve more awards than you've got, gotten. I just God I'll just start you. there. God bless. And uh, can I say something about awards? Um, yeah. Really quickly, the, the what you just said to both of us is a manifestation of the fact that, yes, it would be nice to get awards, but at the same time, and this sounds so hokey, but it is so true, the work is always the principal mode, the most important thing, the work, the, the process of doing the work. And it also, for me, um, speaks to, uh, and I know you were not, this is not what you were intimating, not to work for awards, work for the work and making yeah. the connections with 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 our colleagues and with audiences. So thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. For I have to say for me, what you just said is a reward because Absolutely. for me as a producer, you know, there was only one person for this role. There was only one actor who I wanted in this role. I really, I genuinely wasn't sure we had a show if Delroy said no, because I was so clear that he was the one. And it's because I've looked up to him for so long. He's on my Mount Rushmore too. So as a producer, to be able to sit next to him and have you say that to him and be able to witness it is my reward for the day. Well, it was a reward for all of us because I'm, I'm yeah. glad to be here. Everything I've ever done is for you. Right or wrong. I just hope you know that. Yeah, I think I'm starting to see that. Also, I'm going to text Mal. Oh. Because I think that one of us should try to be with someone nice. <laughs> you right about that. <laughs> <laughs> Can we bring soul food on the plane? Yes. Hey, Russ is at work. Get the man some soap.
Would you like a side order of hypertension? <laughs> would you like to go get some food? <laughs> <laughs> and for you, Carrie, I'm so glad that you, you know, as an amazing actress as you've been, like to step into this producer seat, be able to tell these stories. Because we've seen so many stories, whether it's The Wire or Power, where people go to jail, but we've never seen it, the pivot of how the family feels coming back. And I feel like That's this right. was such a unique experience. That's right. Um, you know, I've been in jail before, and my brother is probably a character that's like you, that's that's been in and out of jail his whole life. And I really resonated with the story, and I just I just thought it was like amazing that you and Tra that all you guys put this story together because I felt it. I benched it in one night straight. Mm. You know, so listen, let me say something to you, bro. This work is for you. This work is for, for you and your brother, your brother, for people like you. And, 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 and they say that, you know, there's a saying in the specific is the universal, mm -hmm. right? So the fact that it resonates very, very specifically for you, um, as it does out of your experience and out of what we have been able to contribute to your experience, then it resonates further to um, larger audiences, right? But I, I, you yeah. saying what you just, this work is for you, man. It's for us also. Yeah. And you, and you give us, and on my hearing, and, 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 and Kerry just mentioned it, um, you saying what you said is a huge affirmation, huge reward for us. And it goes to, it goes right to the center, right to the center of what, why we do this. Yes why we do this in the first place, which is, and again, this is going to sound real hokey, but we want to illuminate the human condition. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We want to yeah. have people in some small, small way, see the work and then think a little differently about who we all are on this planet, what we're doing and why we're doing it and how we're doing it. So thank you so much for that, man. Thank you for sharing that. Cause I think also it's like, creating this work is to normalize this experience of a family also, you know, that there's 80 million Americans living with a criminal record. It says that you are not alone. I am not alone. That's no right. worries, none of us is alone. And so when we get to take the shame off of it That's and telling right. it in That's this right. way That's with right. honesty and humor and humanity, we get to know that we're not alone. So I'm, I'm really grateful that you were so honest. Yeah, and I'm I'm grateful for you guys. I know I got to wrap, but I just want you guys to be the people you are. Keep doing what y'all do because uh, people out here need you guys to represent and to to put these roles out there and do what y'all do. And we love y'all for it. So just keep doing it. We'll keep cheering y'all. Thank you for the time. And I'm um, big fans of both of you. Thank you so much, Thank bro. You. Thank you very, very much. It means a lot. Thank you. All right.